Welcome to our tutorial on filling blank cells with specific values in Excel. We'll explore three efficient methods. Using the Go to Special feature for manual selection, leveraging the Find and Replace functionality for quick edits, and automating the process with a VBA macro. These techniques are essential for anyone looking to clean up their datasets and ensure consistency across their worksheets. Let's begin with method 1, which makes use of Excel's Go to Special functionality. This feature is a powerful tool for quickly identifying and selecting specific types of cells, such as blanks. Start by selecting the range of cells within your worksheet where you expect to find blank cells. This will be the area we focus on for filling in the blanks. To access the Go to Special feature, navigate to the Home tab and click on Find and Select under the Editing group. From the drop-down menu, choose Go to Special. You can also use the shortcut keys F5 or Ctrl plus G to open the dialog box directly. In the Go to Special dialog box, you'll see several options for selecting different types of cells. For our purpose, choose the Blanks radio button from the Select section and then click OK. After clicking OK, Excel will highlight all the blank cells within your selected range. This visual cue makes it easy to see where the empty cells are located. To fill these blank cells, first, press F2 to enter edit mode for the active cell. Then, type in the specific value you wish to use, such as, 0, or, null, which will be used to fill all the blank cells. Once you've entered the value, use the powerful Ctrl plus Enter shortcut. This will fill all the highlighted blank cells with the value you've just typed in, without having to manually fill each one. Now, let's move on to method 2, which employs the Find and Replace feature in Excel. This method is another quick way to fill blank cells, especially when you want to replace them with a specific text or numeric value. Begin by selecting the range of cells that contains the blank cells you intend to fill. This will ensure that the Find and Replace feature operates only within the desired area. On the Home tab, click Find and Select under the Editing group to open the Find and Replace dialog box. This is where you'll specify what to look for and what to replace it with. In the Find and Replace dialog box, switch to the Replace tab. Leave the Find What box empty to indicate that you're looking for blank cells, and enter the value you want to fill in with, such as 0 in the Replace With box. After you've specified the Find and Replace criteria, click Replace All. A confirmation dialog will appear, showing how many instances were replaced. Click OK to close it and view your updated worksheet. For those who prefer an automated approach or need to perform this task frequently, Method 3 involves writing a VBA macro. This method allows you to fill blank cells with a single line of code and a user prompt for input. To start, select the range of cells that contain the blank cells you want to fill. Then, go to the Developer tab and click Visual Basic to open the VBA editor. If you don't see the Developer tab, you may need to enable it through Excel's options. In the Visual Basic for Applications editor, click Insert and then Module to create a new module. This is where you'll write the VBA code for your macro. Copy and paste the provided VBA code into the new module's code window. This code will create a macro that prompts you for a value and then fills all blank cells within your selected range with that value. After pasting the code, save it and return to your Excel worksheet. You can now run the macro by pressing the Run button in the VBA editor or by assigning it to a button on the Excel worksheet. When prompted, enter the value you want to use for filling the blank cells. This could be a text string, a numerical value, or even a formula, depending on your needs. After running the macro, you'll immediately see the results. All the blank cells in your selected range will be filled with the value you entered, demonstrating the power and efficiency of VBA for automating Excel tasks. Congratulations! You've successfully learned three different methods to fill blank cells with specific values in Excel. These techniques will greatly improve your ability to clean up and prepare your data for analysis and presentation. Thanks for watching our tutorial. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. Don't forget to subscribe for more Excel tips, tricks, and in-depth guides.